You've been living under a rock if you don't know that the corporate world is just a tad obsessed with the impact of storytelling. This trend has seen droves of clients at Voice Science desperate to stop boring their peers and inspire through the art of storytelling. Why is it so hard to tell stories at work? Well, because it's easy to assume that it can't be hard, but it is. Otherwise, everyone would have a shiny Pulitzer Prize on their bookshelf. Speaking of bookshelves, is yours empty, dusty, full or exploding? That might give you a clue about why your storytelling is so bad. There's not much truth in a self-made expert. If you want to get good at stories, you should be reading them and learning. If you're an accountant or a financial advisor, maybe even a CEO, did you really think for one minute that you can learn to tell good stories with minimal effort? Literature degrees, creative writing, Philosophy and indeed all the creative arts are hard work, hard cognitive work that engages a different style of thinking than numbers, revenue and systems theories. And if you want to get good at telling stories, get real about your skill level and expertise. Chances are you need to learn the basic foundations of how to write fascinating content before you can even begin to think about sharing stories aloud at work and entertaining and inspiring your colleagues. So how can you get better at telling stories at work? Here's some actionable tips. First, you need to learn story grammar. It's such a thing. We'll show you how it works at Voice Science because Bad story grammar is just as unpleasant as bad grammar. Secondly, practice retelling stories you hear. Good storytellers need to have a tight command and memory of story logic. Yes, that's a thing. Sequence and build to climax or closure. Next, you could look at improving your voice tone and expression so that people want to listen. A great story told with monotone is a boring story. Now I want to encourage you to get specific. Don't aim to tell stories for the sake of it. Each story should have a tangible motive. Learn that different outcomes need different stories. And maybe even think about getting a professional to evaluate your storytelling abilities. Our high performance communication audit is a great start and a chance for you to get targeted feedback on your communication under pressure. It also includes storytelling assessment so that you can learn how to polish your storytelling abilities. Write more. Writing and speaking use our expressive language skills where listening and reading boost your receptive ability. You can't tell good stories verbally without building your written skills. That's the foundation. Collect authentic and sincere stories. No one likes melodrama or a stack of exaggerated lies. Be honest and sincere in your stories. If you're stuck, get help. Don't do it alone. Placing high expectation on your communication without the tools to correct it really isn't realistic. If I want to learn how to surf, which I do, I'll hire a surfing instructor. If you want to learn how to tell better stories, which I'm sure you do, enroll in a course or buy a book on the topic for a basic start or send me an email. Thank you so much for watching this strong little shot. Today marks our 10th episode of series one. I hope that you're finding some wonderful fresh ideas for your communication through this series. And I also expect that now you have some ideas to leverage your storytelling ability so that you can put some big changes into your workplace communication and stop boring your mates. Just kidding. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. 
Ciao! Enchanté. Perhaps you consider your communication a huge calling card. Or maybe it's never come easily. There's this feeling where you're speaking in a meeting, your speech accelerates, it's out of control, or your voice cracks and the words don't come to mind. If you know you should be more persuasive or assertive or diplomatic, if you fail to make your message sound logical when speaking under pressure, or using the right tone of voice to get your message across feels difficult, then pay close attention because there's a reason why. There's an art and science to high performance communication. Over six years, I have developed a tested and systematic method to audit your voice, speaking and communication and in so doing, pinpoint the exact bottleneck you are facing in your speaking. And I want to share that with you no matter where you are, so that you know where you stand and have a game plan to excel when you're communicating. Click the link below to enrol in the High Performance Communication Audit and get to the bottom of what your communication needs to progress. Here's what you'll get. A tailored and comprehensive audit into every aspect of your communication so you know precisely what you need to break your communication barriers. Assessment of your voice tone to ensure that you're not sabotaging a good message with a poor sound. Assessment of speech intonation and expression factors, pitch, tone, word stress and emphasis so you can learn how to sound more interesting, persuasive and get rid of monotone. Investigation of your speaking fluency features we will determine whether your speech is broken and disjointed or moving to a mumble so that you can learn how well your speaking flows and what you need to incorporate to sound more interesting, confident and clear. Speech rate assessment. We will determine whether your speech is too fast or too slow and compare it to research-based findings on the best speech rhythm for listener engagement so that you can add credibility and capture your audience. Screening of your language and vocabulary power so we can identify strategies for word finding problems, logical structure, storytelling, topic building and message precision. Assessment of your social communication tool stack. What tools do you need to build rapport, engage, empathise, convince and persuade others more effectively? A complete communication activity inventory. What types of communication activities do you need for your job, small business, interests? What are working well? Which need more skill? Video-based assessment online in a conversational format led by me so that you speak as you normally would in order for us to get a true picture of your communication while performing under pressure. And guess what? You can do this audit in your own time zone, no matter where you are, according to your schedule. You'll also get access to the High Performance Communication Success Digital Blueprint so that you can have a guide to the key features of clear and confident communication, valued at $110. A 30-minute communication strategy feedback session with me so that you can learn exactly what your communication needs and get your questions answered. Valued at $220. The Communication Strategy Feedback Session is one of my favourite appointments to deliver. You will get so much clarity about your communication from this appointment, as well as a game plan on how to build it so that you can move forward and communicate with more confidence, clarity and comfort. I will identify for you the main bottleneck you face that is holding your communication back from improving and recommend the strategic ways we can partner with you to solve it. Click the link to enrol in your high performance communication audit today. 
I can't wait to meet you, to help you and support you. Cadenza. Elevate. Communicate.